Long ago, two races ruled over Earth, humans and monsters. One day, war broke out between the two races. After a long battle, the humans were victorious. They sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. Many years later, Mount Ebot, 2000 and something else. Legends say that those who climb the mountain never return. Undertale. This game is already really old. I'm late to it, but there was a discount. So like, I was like, I had to buy it. And, I had to play it. Ah. Oh, there's a full screen mode too. Cool. Trying to figure that out for a while. Dang. Cool. Settings. Okay. Begin game. Fallen human. My name is Aki. It shall always be Aki Takara. Yes. So, playing this somewhat blind because I don't remember much of the story, but I have watched gameplay of this before. So, yeah. Let us begin. We have fallen down onto some flowers. And I know what path I'm going to choose for the gameplay, so. Be prepared. Howdy, I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. Hmm. You're new to the underground, aren't ya? Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess little old me would have to do. Ready? Here we go. See that heart? That is your soul, the very culmination of your being. Your soul starts off weak, but can grow strong if you gain a lot of LV. What's LV stand for? Why, love, of course. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around, get as many as you can. I'm not getting those. Hey buddy, you missed them. I've played enough Undertale spin-off games. Let's try again, okay? No! I knew it! I failed! You idiot. In this world, it's kill or be killed. Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? You know, I tried to dodge that too. Die! <laughs> Bong. Get yeeted. What a terrible creature torturing such a poor innocent human. Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. Yo. The shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. HP fully restored. Save. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. 
The ruins are full of puzzles, ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please, adjust yourself to the sight of them. Okay. Huh. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Stay on the path. Press D to read signs. Yep. <laughs> Splendid! I am proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking with dummy. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for a conversation. Toriel seems happy with you. You won! You earned 0 XP and 0 gold. Ah, very good. You are very good. Yes, 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 yes. There is another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. Ooh. Oh no. Froggit. Compliment. Froggit didn't understand what you said, but he was flattered anyway. <laughs> you what? <laughs> oh my lord. That's hilarious. <laughs> this is the puzzle, but here, take my hand for a moment. I would not be able to do this puzzle on my own, for sure. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. Indeed it does. You have done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I wonder, or I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Come back, please! I can't do it, the pressure. my child. Do not worry, I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise, to test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? Call her mom. <laughs> Flirt about yourself. Say hello. That's the only number I have. I have a stick. That is my weapon. <laughs> call her mom. This is Toriel. Huh? Did you just call me mom? Well, I suppose. But that makes you happy <laughs> to call me mother. <laughs> well then, call me whatever you like. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> about yourself. This is Toriel. You want to know more about me? Well, I am afraid there is not much to say. I am just a silly little lady who worries too much. Say hello. This is Toriel. You only wanted to say hello. Well then, hello. I hope that that suffices. And now the last option. <laughs> huh? Oh, heh heh. Ha <laughs> ha. How adorable. I could pinch your cheek. You can certainly find better than an old woman like me. Alright. Already? Hello, this is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try to solve them by yourself. Be good, alright? Click. Ribbit, ribbit. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way, or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. 
If a monster does not want to fight you, please use some mercy, human. Anyway. <sighs> Playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. HP fully restored. Alright, what's up here? It says, take one. Take a piece of candy. Yeah. You took a piece of candy. See the open menu. Uh, a whis- a whimson. A whimson. Console. Halfway through your first word, whimson bursts into tears and runs away. Ha. Huh. You know, that reminds me of Pokemon. Quite a lot, actually. Well, that was easy. Rain. Hello, this is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Ha. Huh. I know the answer. <laughs> oh, I see. Thank you very much. Okay. Alright. Story of, you do not dislike cinnamon, do you? I know what your preference is, but would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right. I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Three out of four gray rocks. Recommend you push them. Three out of four. Three out of four? Hmm. Three out of four. Uh -huh. Ah, yes. Please don't step on the leaf. It's not my fault. I didn't mean to. Uh, so, the leaf is down here. I. I was so close. I just need to go down. There's no way I could fail it this third time. I'm sorry. Oh my god! This is just cruel! I think I should've just went for the Whimson first. Cause then I could avoid these little flies. Wait a second, what am I doing? I just realized what I could have done. I could have mercy. No! I'm a fool. I'm an absolute clown. Okay, three out of four rocks. Bomb. Okay. Whoa there, partner! Who said you could push me around? Hmm? So you're asking me to more... To move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. Hmm? You want me to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? Hmm? That was the wrong direction? Okay, think I got it. Hmm? You wanted me to stay there? You're giving me a real workout. Thank you. Oh my god, this little, little, little rat sound. The cheese has been here for quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. E. E. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese, it fills you with determination. Alright. Are they gone yet? The skulls keep saying Z out loud repe <laughs> repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Move it with force. Oh, I kind of have to. Cheer up, little ghost. You gave Napster Brook a patient smile. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Get another cheer up there. We told Nancy Fluke a little joke. <laughs> really not feeling up to it right now, sorry. Moon. Actually wants to show you something. Let me try. I call it a dapper Fluke. Do you like it? Oh gee. 
I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around. But today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I get out of your way. What is upwards? What is sideways? Oh, what's this? Spider bake sale. All process good. Wait, all proceeds go to real spiders. Uh, I only have four. I don't even have enough. Well, gosh darn. Did you miss it? Spider bake sale down right. Come and eat food made by spiders for spiders of spiders. Wait, made of spi- Okay. Sigh, my friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing X. That's right. Pressing X. Oh. Not you, too! That's actually cool! But I heard using F4 can make you free full screen, but what does F4 stand for? Okay. But I heard that you were quite wishful for a human. Surely you know by now the yellow- Yep. Uh, yeah. That's a helpful. Yep, maybe one day. Do it even if their name isn't yellow. Ring. Hello. I just realized that it has been quite some time since I've cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. Pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday, you might see something you really like. You will want to leave room. You will want to leave room in your pockets for that. Yes, I shall. Oh, looks okay. No, don't pick up. Finally, somebody gets it. Yo, no, no, please, please. Okay. Wait, I can go back for the food. You know, I'm gonna do that. What is this thing on the right side? Uh, leave 18 in the web. I only have 11. I'll leave seven. Some spider scrawled down and gave you a donut. Yay! So this said there's just one switch. Okay. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Another looks Mario. This one. Oh, there's the switch. Yo, it's Napster Blue again. It's a vegetoid. Yeah. Uh, talk. Plants can't talk, dummy. That's not nice! You freaking plant. Dinner. You pat your stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Eat your greens. Oh, wait. Cool. Thank you. Okay, I want to go to Napster Bluke. No. Okay. Napster Bluke. There's another Vegetoid on the top. I fell down a hole, now I can't get up. Go on without me. Wait, ghosts can fly, can't they? Oh well. Okay, sweet. Now, there's a Vegetoid up here. And I wanna, I wanna talk to it. Gosh darn it. This is easy, spare. Okay, Vegetoid, you're mine. Cool, more money. The more the better. Because then I can actually buy stuff. <clears throat> okay. Switch. Done. Hey, what does this say? The far door is not an exit. It is... Wait, it simply marks a rotation in perspective. can read this. Press the blue switch. Um, don't pick on him. Please don't pick on me. No, no, no. Come on! <laughs> don't pick on me. Finally, somebody gets it. What kind of combo attack is that? Okay. Since there's no blue switch here, I guess it's behind the pillar. Yep. That other guy, he just had to do it. Alright, what does this one say? If you can read this, press the red switch. <sighs> I'm gonna hate this so much. <laughs> Please, just don't hurt me. No. 
There's too much to think of. I can't. I just can't. It's... Please. Eat your greed. Yes. 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 Jeez, that is dangerous. Okay, red switch. It's a switch. Press it. Yes. All right. What does this one say? If you read this, press the green switch. Yeah, I'm not doing that. All right. Switch, press it. Yes. Yo, that was just pure luck. Beautiful. And actually, you know what? It's between you and me. I saw Toriel come out just a while ago. He's carrying some. I didn't ask what they were for. Not to intimidate. <laughs> Ruby. It's a knife. All right. Then that must mean that the last way to go is up. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there. I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Er, uh, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. Do you smell that? Surprise! It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie! I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Dang. <laughs> here, I have another surprise for you. Cool. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Yes, I get head pats. The best. Is something burning? Uh, make yourself at home. Yo. It's pretty cool. Ding. What's this? It's a regular old bucket of snail. It's Toriel's diary. Read the circle passage. Yes! You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? <laughs> because she was feeling bonely. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open the middle. Typha. A group of wetland, lower or flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods, known more commonly as water sausages. You peek inside. Scandalous! It's Toriel's sock drawer. All right. Let's see. Inside the drawer are flower seeds and some broken crayons. Room under renovation. It's you. Yes, it is. Right, this plant looks interesting. That plant also looks interesting. So this. Oh, ooh, it's a water sausage. Right, actually, what's up here? These books are worn. They must have been read many times. I don't know what happens if I go down there. But first, I want to check this thing. Inside is an old calendar from the beginning. Oh, wait, that's around the year that we fell, huh? I think you should play upstairs instead. <laughs> oh, she's going back to the room. Hello there, little one. The pie has not cooled down yet. Perhaps you should take a nap. Yes, yes. Sweet dreams. Okay, cool. What a nice smell. Too hot to eat, though. Okay. You know, very cozy house. It's a history book. It's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated far, far into the earth. We walked until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named Home. As great as our king is, he is pretty lousy at names. Dang. So we're in home right now. This is the, the world that we live in. No, 
I got out. You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Can I still escape? I want to sleep again. Da, 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 da. Na, 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 na. Do. Da, 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 da. Oh, that transition is so nice. Being such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There's so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a cu <laughs> curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I am glad to have you living here. Oh, do you want something? What is it? When can I go home? What? This is... this is... Your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I'm reading? It's called 70, 72 Uses for Snails. Sure. Here is an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails sometimes flip their digestive systems as they mature? Interesting. Yeah. Ah. Uh, well, bother me if you need anything else. What is it? How to exit the ruins? I have to do something. Stay here. Come back! Please! I can't be trusted in a house alone. The things that I will do to the house. Not safe. It's gonna... Oh, it's gonna be dangerous. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. I want to go to the ruined exit! Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. But danger is fun! Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. You want to leave so badly? <laughs> you are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Huh. Well, of course I know what I've got to do. i got to talk. I'm going to think of any conversation topics. Hey, that's like me in real life. Um, I, I, what? I, I, I'm not prepared for this. I have never really, dang. Uh, tried to think of something to say again, but it was in vain. No. Ow. Talk. Ironically, talking does not seem to be the solution to this situation. That hurts. No. Please talk. It doesn't seem to be the solution! Okay. Um... Could I spare? Okay. Please. I don't like this. Spare, please. Please. Oh no. Oh no, 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 I'm gonna keep sparing. Look, I can't get attacked anymore! What are you doing? Please. <laughs> I'm so low! <laughs> Spare! Attack or run away. No. I want you to go through the barrier. Please. What are you proving this way? That I... I don't want to fight at all. Fight me with you. I want to leave. Please. Please go to mom. Please help me. Stop it. Stop looking at me that way. Come on, please. Go away. No. I want to continue forward.
want to leave, please. Sorry, it looks strange. Come on. I know you want to go home, but... but... Please go upstairs now. I promise I will take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but... You have a good life here. Come on, please. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. Aw, oh, she's sad now. <laughs> Uh, pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. We would just be unhappy, trapped here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I'll put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Ah, so cute! Goodbye, my child. And onwards. To a world of devastation. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> dang! Oh, jeez, that's that's insane. Oh, it's you again, you little rat! Clever, very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So, you were able to play by your own rules, but spared the life of a single person. <laughs> I bet you feel really great. You can kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die, and you'll die, and you'll die until tired. Until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it. I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. Undertale by Toby Fox. And that concludes today's episode. I think. No, it does not. Okay, never mind. <laughs> the woods. The spooky woods. A tree. A, th a branch. A tree. No, oh, that's normal. That's also normal. Human, don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around. And shake my hand. <laughs> the old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now, my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars to, well, too wide to stop anyone. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp! Mm -hmm. 
What's up, bro? You know, sup. You know what? Sup, brother. It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around out your s or outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Don't you want to look? No, I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. And then I, the great papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect, recognition. I will finally be able to join the royal guard. People will ask to be my friend. I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. Hmm. Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans, you are not helping, you lazy bones. All you do is sit and boondoggle. You get lazy and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've got a ton of work done today. A skeleton. Sans! Come on, you're smiling. I am, and I hate it. Why does someone as great as me have to do so much to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself down to the bone. Ah, I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> huh. Okay, you can come out now. You gotta get going. He might come back, and if he does, you'll have to sit through more of his hilarious j or my hilarious jokes. It's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. There are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million, I'll be up ahead. The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. And with that, we end our first episode of Undertale. If you did enjoy, please consider liking. And if you didn't, well, dislike it. And please consider subscribing, because I want to reach a thousand plus subscribers, and it would really help out. And with that out of the way, I'm out. Later.